All right, so today I'm gonna to be walking you through my design process for making this wooden sign with 3D printed letters. So I did my design and layout in Photoshop and this was based off of real world measurements that I took with a tape measure. And so I'm going with 27 inches by five inches and that's gonna be the actual size of the letters. Uh, my scale at the top and sides are set to inches. So when I print this out on paper, it's going to be the actual size of the letters that I 3D print. So I'm going to be using this as a template to position and orient my 3D printed letters. I'm just going to center it up and then save and print a copy and then you'll see how I use it later on. Over in SOLIDWORKS, I created a part for each of the letters and essentially all this is is a sketch and then I use the text tool to create um, each letter. And then I hit it with an extrude boss base to give each of the letters uh, some dimension. So for this one, I went with 8.5 millimeters and I think it looked good for what I was trying to do, but uh, you could set it to whatever you like. You're gonna wanna save your part file and your STL file so that you can bring it into your slicer in preparation for 3D printing. So open up your STL file that you just saved. I am using Cura and this is a slicer program that takes the STL and ultimately turns it into G code, which is what your 3D printer uses to print. So there's two settings that we need to change and it's enable ironing and iron only the highest layer. This is important because it's going on a sign and you want it to have a smooth finish. So after you check the preview and it looks good, save your G code and send it for printing. My favorite part of this project was the woodworking. So I used a beautiful piece of cedar wood and I wanted to make it look like driftwood. So I kind of drew some rough edges and then cut it out on the scroll saw. You can see how it's starting to look a bit more organic. To really sell the look, I did some power carving with a rotary tool. I kind of just knocked down the edges and then carved in some splits into the edges of the wood. For the painting and staining, I started off with the 3D printed letters and I hit it with a black coat of spray paint. Uh, this really wasn't necessary. I could have just started with the orange and the paint really wasn't going down too well because it was super cold outside, but eventually the paint dried up nicely and then I proceeded with the gradient. I'm just shielding the top half of the letters because I'm going to come in with some red spray paint and just lightly dust the bottom half of these letters to give it a nice gradient effect. I think this gradient turned out really nice. For the wood, I could have just left it the way it was because the cedar wood looks so good on its own, but I decided to give it an aged uh, driftwood kind of look, so I hit it with some stain, and the stain went in so nicely into the power carved sections that it just looks, it looks legit. I mixed up some two-part epoxy and I'm using that to secure the letters onto the sign. I'm carefully placing the letters down, but the epoxy hasn't cured yet. So I'm using that Photoshop document that I printed at the start of this video to index and orient the letters correctly. The last thing for me to do was install it in its new home and I just used some two-sided heavy duty Velcro and I stuck it on there. I think it looks really interesting. As a maker, I can really appreciate this project because it involved different software, 3D printing, woodworking, and different creative elements like power carving and the gradient paint. I used a lot of these techniques on other projects as well like this sign that I made that has moss in it. 
I also have a lot of projects that didn't work out, but I still learned a lot from them, like this hose reel that I made with 3D printed components. If you find stuff like this interesting, check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching.